So that's getting bricked up. So the units can go right through, because that'll be gone. Right through. Do that to some way up to so yeah, there's the quick rundown of how it's going to be. You've been framed? Hey? You've been framed? Sequence, we're going we're gonna to give Tom a run for his money. So, from now on, stay t you'll see which one I'm doing. So, let's do this. And good morning. Back. We're finally back. It's been what, about three and a half months? It's been a good three and a half months, so up with the, uh, the lads at a &E. But back in the real world now. So, starting back off with a uh, conservatory conversion kind of thing. Where, <coughs> edit that. So, main gist of the job today is we're gonna be taking this down and getting the, a brick wall flush with the house and we're gonna brick that whole wall up and I'll take you inside and show you what else to do from the inside as well so let's get you back in there welcome back to London living well welcome back to a big headache <laughs> While Dad sorts to skip out, I'll give you a quick rundown. So all this is going to be open space, so everything's coming out, and we're going to have a big steel going across. Um, as I said outside, this is all going to be a solid wall. And anything else happening? Uh, solid wall is going to be, this is probably going to be ins inside wall, where this is. And so it's going to return to this frame, which is staying in. That glass unit's coming out, that one and that one. They're coming out, they're going to replace them with the, um, I can't remember what it's called, like a black but, but with that, yeah. that's, that's replacing there. And then the, the units are going to come through there then. The kitchen's coming right across into the old kitchen. Um, there's two steels, maybe one. You might only need one to hold the roof up, because obviously there's no brickwork above that bungalow. So we, I don't think we're going to need a steel for this outside skin. We'll just need the internal one to hold the wall plate for the roof. Um, timber floor, so I don't think we'll need to fix the floor because the brick is going to come off the here anyway, so that's going to be much. And then it's just um, we've got a window to brick up in the kitchen as well, so that you can have his wall units coming through. Actually, there's nobody in there, can you show you? There you go. So that's getting bricked up, so the units can go right through because that'll be gone. Right through. So yeah, there's the quick rundown of how it's gonna be. Are you showing off your new toy? What? Oh, they've seen this before, haven't they? Oh yeah, but you've not used it uh, properly yet, have you? No, that's my present of Alex. Little rapper. Um actually, it's probably not that good because it's Usually in's locked, didn't we? Yeah. I said, right, I'm going to have to get one of them because they are brilliant. So Alex bought me that for Christmas because we've already got the Makita. So um, we've just got the bare unit. And we've got the brushless one. But yeah, so that's a quick rundown of how that's the plan anyway. The plan for today was take this out, dig down, put the new footing in. But that, because it's pouring down, we're going to just get this wall out today. Yeah. Make a start on this. Take the outside skin out. We're being christened today, aren't we? We're right back into it, into the rain. Into yeah, we've already got halfway to work and went back home again because we forgot half the tools, which we're not, we don't need today now. Yeah, so it's been one of them days. But that is absolutely bonkers. You could make it a feature, get, get it, fill it up and put some fish in. Is all this being sorted as well? It's going to have to replace all the glass units. Yeah, everything. Yeah. It's going to be it's going to be a big job. So basically, it's like a. a we're reusing the conservatory as an extension. We're converting it. Yes, and it's all going through building regs. And we've got an uh, engineer's report for this, so we've got, we know the pad stones and other steels, so we can get this sorted today, and we can go to Bersco and get the steels ordered, and we can go and see about our merch. About our merch and the uh, future stuff. So uh, we'll set you up on time lapse somewhere while we get this uh, timber out and get these bricks out, so. On. Catch you on the time lapse.
name of it. The soffits are out and as you can see the spars aren't touching the outer skin which tends to be the usual case with bungalows. The Nothing usually touches the brickwork so that is good news for us because that means we don't need a steel there. We just need one steel now which is a big relief and for the customer too because saving money now so so we can just get ahead with knocking this down now no problems <coughs> and once we've got all this knocked out we'll probably nip over to Bursco get the steel ordered and yeah so for now if the weather still holds off we'll take the side out as well yeah the inspector's coming tomorrow at 10 o'clock we need to have something to go out yeah so uh, at least we've got a battle plan and some good news so yeah let's get cracking Let's make some noise! Now, I'm not sure if I said this, but I'll say it just in case. Uh, yeah, you can see the headers, they've been put in to seal the cavity, as you can see up there. So the cavity's sealed off, but uh, they're coming out anyway because the steel's going underneath the wall plate there. Hang on a minute, I've got a pointy stick. There's the wall plate underneath the spars, and then you've got coarser brickwork there, as you can see, and the head is sealing the cavity. So, all this is coming out. This is going to be a 665 pillar from the external leaf. So, this comes out back to the external leaf. We're going to cut that back with our new steel saw, and this, this is going to extend. Probably, let me see, probably to about the, so that's going to be the pillar, that's going to be cut down as well, which again we can do with the still saw because we've got the water suppression on it now, um, and we're not opening up yet so we can cut that in from the back, from this side, drop that down, that'll be our seating for our steel, pad stone on the top, steel in across onto that existing pillar which is staining. Both skins will be staining there I think. Yeah there's no point taking that outside skin on that side. So yeah and then as you can see this is an ideal way to work piling all the crap like this but the skip's not here yet so we don't really see the point of moving it out and then moving it again. So it's just turned 12 so we're gonna have an early dinner. Well I say early dinner but we used to go in at one o'clock with the lads at a &E, but um, we're gonna well we we our dinner is decided by what we're doing. So today it's 12 o'clock, give the skip a chance to arrive. We can start getting all this cleared up. There's not much left to come out now. That's it. Um, not touching this today. Not touching this today because it's pouring down, as you can see. So we'll um, get this down, get it cleared up, head off to base, go to JM Steel and get the steel ordered and go and see about our um, t-shirts. So that's it for now, head off for dinner. Uh, I've just come around the corner for dinner. 
That's, what, that's, that's coming down. Okay, it's right around the corner from dinner. And Bam! Didn't know that had arrived. And he's got it right up the drive as well, which is very handy. So that's us. Crack on after dinner. I don't even know if Alex has realised it. <laughs> yeah, you can get stuck in now. So yeah, we'll catch you after dinner. Right, so back from lunch and yeah, I'm sure Dad's already said, but I completely missed that at least. You just said, have you seen the skip? And I was like, so, skip's here. So, Dad's just gonna go talk to Neil a quick second like, to sort out more work. So, I'm gonna make a start getting these stacked up because you know me, I like stacking my skips. So, I'll get you set up somewhere where you can just watch that happen. So, yeah, let's, let's get cracking. So, normally I will be doing this with a barra, but we've left the brick barra at home, so I'm going to do this by hand, which is bloody exhausting. And for anyone wondering, why are you stacking them? Well, doing it this way gives us a lot more space in the skip, because if I was just tossing these in, this would be like about a quarter of the skip full already, which obviously can't have that when we're doing big jobs. We've been we've been bitten so many times where we've needed like an extra skip or we've not had enough space. So so we do this to make sure we we'll have plenty of room. We make a nice little perimeter of bricks or blocks or whatever. And then get all that space in for the There we have it, all the bricks are knocked out and all been taken to the skip, just got a bit more crap there to fizzle out. So right now, Dad's getting all the statistics and the numbers down. We've got to find out, get the, the amount of blocks we need, bricks we need, pad stones, steel, all that stuff, aren't we? Mm -hmm. yeah, we've got, and got plenty to do no matter what happens, so I'll, I'll take you around to the skip, show you my stacking skill, stacking, so show you my stacking skills. That was a mouthful. And there we go. Look at that. So, that's all of the brick stacked across. Now you can imagine what they'd be like just tossed in. <coughs> but the skip would be nearly half full. And this is where you can really see the stacking part because obviously that's not hard to do. But it's getting them all stood up right on the flat end. But yeah. So that's an entire side knocked out and not even, not even filled up all the skip. And then that side we can save for the block work that's going to go in and we can just toss the rest of the rubble in there. So let's get you back around. Like it back in the flow now. It's like your first day back at school. That's some old Yeah. But uh, so, so yeah, that's uh, the work part of today done. Yes. We knocked, uh, knocked that whole wall down. So now it's still raining. Yeah, it's still raining. So we were going to knock down the outer wall, but since it's raining, there's no point. So. Today we're going to finish off by getting all the stuff ordered and ready. We're going to get the blocks, steel, pad stones, bricks, bricks everything else. Obviously some of the cement. Yeah, insulation. All that stuff is going to be ordered. Uh, stone for the uh, All that stuff is going to be ordered for tomorrow. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to go to we're going to Berries tomorrow, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, so we'll probably go to Berries tomorrow morning pick up the insulation because it's meant to be quite rainy tomorrow morning too so we're gonna have to turn scalpings for the uh, company yeah so we'll just uh, have a little drive around pick up some stuff so we'll bring you along with us obviously we're gonna leave the GoPro on so we'll uh, spin you around so you can uh, join us Here we are at our 
our first stop, getting the steel. Yep, James Steel, our local go-to steel place. So it's going to go get that sorted, and then what's the stop after this, Phil? What's... Uh, yeah. So it's a 152 by 89 by 2.4 painted. I've not missed this. <laughs> We're a bit rusty uh, doing things ourselves, so that used to uh, just showing up to the job. Yeah. Tony tell us what to do. Do you want a pancake? Oh god, no way, I'm sick of food. That bacon butter's really put me out. I won't be long. Are you gonna get when you're picking this headline up? Do you remember the one I mean? Yeah. The one you ordered a few months ago. Yes. So steel's uh, ordered, as well as say picked up then. Steel's picked. It's gonna be a diary. <laughs> steel's ordered. Next stop, Fairwoods. Steel's ordered and paid for. Yeah, ordered and paid for. So next stop, Fairwoods to order. The steel's 152 by 89, 2.4 metres long. And then we'll Painted. go. Can I speak? Yes, fire away. And then we're heading to Fairwoods for blocks, brick. The blocks delivered. It's a full pack. We're getting some cement delivered. Um, should we just get bags of sand instead of getting half a ton? There's no room in the van, is there? No, we get delivered with this blocks. Oh, can do, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. It's or, gonna cost a bit more, but... Yeah, so we'll get the sand in bags delivered, as well as the cement. Because yeah. the... Yeah. And... Where is it after that? To the share place. Yes. So, two more stops, I think. Yeah. Yep, two more stops. So, we'll catch you later. Right, so that's us done. We've uh, been all around. We've just got picked up two acros from Hodgins. We've uh, ordered, well, we, Dad's ordered all the stuff from Fairwoods. And then tomorrow we'll be grabbing the, grabbing the insulation from Berries. So, oh, and we've oh, yeah, also- insulation and stone. And stone, yeah. And we've also been to Ultraware. Just sending that funny instrument. So good to be back or something. Okay. And we've just been to Ultraware to uh, get a rough idea of how our future workwear is going to be and we've uh, now got the website so we can uh, blaze on with that once uh, once Nia has got our designs. Yeah. So now we head back to the main hub. Yeah. We'll have to get special ones done for the uh, big thing. Yeah. That's true, yeah. Stay tuned. Stay tuned if uh, if it's not been announced by the time this video is out. If if not, then you'll know. So we'll catch you tomorrow. Second of March, twenty eighth of March is the big announcement. Yeah. So we will catch you tomorrow. We're going to start on the um, demolition dig today. Getting this out. As you can see, where there's already a fucking in, but um, it only comes to there, which means. Our brickwork comes to the, so we need we need the spread. Plus it needs to be this about here at least. Yeah. Plus this is only five courses, so um, I'm pretty sure the concrete's not going to be substantial because we're putting a full height wall in this double block wall. So we need to get get this get this all down, get all that out, get the concrete out, and get this this strip foundation dug. So that's the plan for today. So let's make a mess. Get a bit closer.
You've been framed? Hey? You've been framed? What? He's been framed? Yeah. <laughs> so, as you can see, Dad's got a. Uh, let's get the whole thing out now. So, while he's doing that, the Fairwood's stuff arrived. So, I've been getting all the cement put away in the dry so it doesn't get wet. Because paper bags and cement keep out the rain and I have also let's take you around also got the bricks covered up and the blocks and now I'm gonna get the sun moved to the front so we can have a easier start when we need the mix but yeah I'll pass you back over to dad while he gets the rest of this framing out That one there had a bit of a wobble. Yeah. Right through my arm, that one. That That's staying in. And we're back on the GoPro. Thank you, Mum and Sarah, for bringing us that. So, don't forget, Dad, the clips before this are on the phone. But, yeah. So, there we have it. The side of the conservatory is out. Dad's just cutting this now. Then we can get the sill off, and then we can then get that brickwork off, get the concrete out. You know the siren dance. How's it look? Yeah. Awkward, As always. Uh, that's why the shoulders are made too. I've never seen me in force in a seal before. It say it was the metal in it. He said no. I've never, never seen that loose before ever. Oh yes. Wait, wasn't there some in uh, Nick's job, whatever his name was? Who? Nick's, the last extension we did. Wasn't this, wasn't the metal in that one? Oh yeah, that had like a really ring oh, beam in it. That was a fortress, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm going to try and get them out of my piece to match the existing. Yeah. Because I know the ones that you've replaced there have done. You get the gist of what we're doing, so I thought we went to hand lamps. So, back into the thick of it. We've, uh, we were stuck in the van for three hours after break. Went for our break and it just, it's not stopped now, it's just kept kept on coming down. But um, we've only got this much brickwork to come out now. And then just obviously clean up the less, rest of the air crap, but that's all we've got to do. And then at least then um, we can maybe have a go at this concrete, but oh, it feels like we never left now. <laughs> The uh, rain's really coming down now, so we're just gonna try and do what we can so we can uh, get this building inspector to have a look at it tomorrow. 
and then we can crack on on Monday. That's the plan anyway. So that's just gone off for a bit. So I've uh, I'm taking shelter into the conservatory right now, and then I'm gonna uh, make a start getting the rest of them out. Take that bucket to the skip. Uh, yeah, it's a really old rest update. Day two update. Uh, Hand gestures of what the day's gone like. I was thinking that. <laughs> yeah, we've been we've got the uh, we've got the footing out. That's it. Not even a foot wide. Probably 150 deep. Done. Yeah. The concrete's up. The only casualty was the sky cable, which we've managed to hit with the bar. Just nick it enough to ruin the tally. So we've been quoted 75 quid to replace the aerial, but uh, customer's gone to see if we can get some connectors to te do a temporary fix for now. So we'll keep you posted on that. But uh, what time is it now? It's uh, about quarter past three. Long time. Uh, not long. It is three o'clock. Three o'clock. So we'll get another hour in, get as much of this dug out as we can. This has got to be 600 wide. Trying to avoid taking the flags up if we can. We're going to dig underneath the flags for the concrete and underneath the. I think the sleep wall is going to be coming out. But um, yeah, that's it for now. We're going to start digging. Hopefully, get something like by half ten for tomorrow for the building inspector to inspect it and she can let us know what's going on. So that's uh, that's our update. Obviously, this is going to be tubed out to return. So yeah, only up to be safe and then it's block work after that. 57 newtons and we've got 50 fiber lights for the internal uh, we haven't got our insulation yet have we not yet no. no so yeah that's it we're going to carry on digging see how far we get in the next hour and by the way it's still raining we've got half a roof on us so stick on time that for a little bit Right, we've hit four o'clock, so that's uh, that's about as much as we got done today. 
we're quite deep down there, so tomorrow we're gonna bring the fencing, the fencing diggers, the fence hole. Fen you know what I mean. We're gonna bring the fence hole diggers to get in there, because it's just way too low to get out with the spade now, so. And then we're gonna just crack on, get that old dog out for the building inspector tomorrow. She's coming at between 10 and half past, so we're just gonna get cracking as soon as we get here. And yeah, that's our plan for tomorrow. And we're gonna get this covered up now. Get some visqueen over it, just so keep it, keep the weather out. Cause it's meant to be quite bad tomorrow, so. Let's make sure it's all covered up. But anyway, that's us for today. We will catch you tomorrow when we are finishing off this dig. And it is the next day, good morning. We remember the uh, post grabs, so that's gonna be a lot easier to do now with uh, being able to just reach down. So that'll be our plan today. That's just uh, helping customer get this uh, sky cable sorted a bit because I nicked it. So but once he's done with that, we're going to start digging. Building inspector's coming at between 10 and half 10, I think I said. So. We're just gonna get that sorted and we'll uh, throw you on time lapse while we do that. Get the skip filled up. And this is why you stack your skip. As we're not even started uh, knocking out the block work yet, and look how full that is. So, saves you a lot of uh, space. We probably wouldn't have needed another skip now if we had uh, we hadn't stacked these. So, that's your incentive to stack your bricks and blocks around the edge. <sighs> when they say that your dad's your hero, this, uh, that's an understatement today. He's managed to do it. Knock on wood. Uh, knock on wood. <laughs> but he's connected it back up there, as you can see. And at the moment, he's got it working, so. There he is. What he, he's the man. So that's a massive relief, so. Yeah. So now we can get started with this digging. Took down the visqueen, worked perfectly. No drop of rain in. So, we a quick start with the dig, so let's get it all in that barrow and into that skip. Let's get it on. Quick update, as you can see that we have now reached, that's our two foot six now. So we need to get that all across there. It's gonna be fun, isn't it? Yes. We've uh, brought out the, the big boy tools, got the torch, <laughs> so we can actually see what we're doing. But yeah, so get all that loose crap out the way and then level it up then, we should be ready then. Dry sand now, won't we? Yeah, so. Go through all the crap. Yeah, now we've got an open end as well, we can just yeah. peel it off now, so. Got a bit of a system going now, very awkward, but get there. Baptism by fire as we call it, isn't it, this job? What time is it for the inspector? I bet it's just going half past nearly. Yeah, we've got an hour and a half. I think as long as half of it's done, you can see what what's what. Yeah. But here we go, so we'll stick you back on time lapse and we'll get this knocked out.
Ooh, just another quick look there, progress we've made. We're about, well, we're over halfway now, aren't we? Easy. And we've spoke to the building inspector, she had to ring us up. So, it is 20 to 10 and the concrete's here, so happy days. A bit uh, it, earlier on schedule, good job already. It's, uh, it's always a gamble with us whether we're ready or not for the concrete. That's just got the rake now, so. And we're gonna be going right up to bottom of that brick with the concrete and we're gonna get we're gonna give it a toe there and a toe there under the foundation so it's gonna have a good it's gonna be sound a good foundation when it's dried up so gonna get splashed there I know <laughs> Yeah. Gotta think like Tom. Hey? Gotta think like Tom. Yeah. Any nails, eh? No. Watch out, Dad. And there you have it, a nice little foot in the concrete. I'll tell you what, you know you're getting, you're either getting old or you're really becoming a tradesman when you get so excited for the concrete. But that's in, and as I just said, it's such a good feeling. So, and as you, uh, as I described before, we've gone up to the brick and we've got a good towing under this footing. And we've got a good towing underneath the house foundation too. We've got a good, got a good four to six inches dug out of there, so we managed to backfill all that. And I've given it a quick tamping, so that's going to be ready for hopefully tomorrow or whenever it is. We're ready to jump on this uh, this block work. But happy days. We're going to just get this saw sweeped up now, and then we can uh, crack on with finishing that window and them steels. But Excuse me, but big thank you to Charlie Concrete. You're always there, always our go-to. So thank you very much. You set up, fill this up a little bit. Just my dad's gonna go talk to Liam. Liam, oh my God, I'm still in it. I'm still in it. Ain't emo, dear. Ooh, finally back from a. Where am I going with this? What? <laughs>
all the wall plates and all that. Um, actually, I don't know what I'm saying with that, so we'll, we'll cut that. <laughs>